Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Well, we're on our way back from the shrimp pond and we stopped at John and Molina's. And uh, when I started the van, the power steering uh, is wanting to work, but it's like it's locked to try to make a left turn. Those of you who have seen pictures of my dash before, uh, there used to be a little yellow icon right there next to the fuel gauge that was on and that was saying that the, steer the steering was messed up. It's all I can do to hold this straight. I'm going to turn loose of this wheel and you can see what it's trying to do. It's just automatically trying to turn. Turn it on. And it's, uh, I'm really having to fight this to keep it straight. Uh, a good thing I guess it's a good thing it happened on a barangay dirt road it's really it's really all I can do with one hand locked with my shoulder and my elbow locked to keep this straight so what we're going to do is we're going to go by the mechanics and see if he can just disconnect the electric. Just undo the connection to the power steering. Uh, the electric motor for the power steering. Uh, it's going to be a chore driving this there. Because yeah, if I turn loose of it, it just wants to turn. It's actually not quite as bad right now as it was two minutes ago. Maybe the motor's burning up. I've tried to turn it off and start it a couple times, but it wants to do the same thing. I'll try it again before we get out on the highway and see if it'll stop this foolishness. It's actually stopped. Well, no, I no, I. Yeah, I'm not touching it, and it's just automatically turning. <coughs> well, this is going to require two hands. So I'll let you know when we get to the mechanic shop. All right. Well, I started and uh, turned it off and turned it on again. And as you can see, that little yellow steering wheel icon is on again. So that means the power steering motor is not working. So it's it's uh, normal steer again, which is still like driving something without power steering that has power steering. So it's always stiff to steer it, but at least now it's not trying to make a hard left turn. Uh, obviously, something uh, electrical is is wrong. My only thing is, is that if that happens at speed and I'm not ready for it, it'll just pull me right into oncoming traffic. And we've tried to get this power steering fixed. Three different mechanics have looked at it. And uh, the last one, the, the best one I think, uh, was looking for parts in Cebu. That was a couple months ago. So maybe we'll stop by there and see if he's made any progress. All right, well, we made it home no problem. It didn't do it again. I guess my I went ahead and disconnected. It's, it's just a, a quick disconnect. I unplugged that electrical connection to the power steering electrical motor. And... Uh, don't have to worry about it kicking me over into opposing traffic. I'm just a uh, guardian angel was looking after me. If that had happened at 60, 70, 80 kilometers per hour, I'm sure that I would have not been able to recover fast enough and I would have rolled this van. Or worse yet, 
uh, had a head on with somebody. That is uh, a pretty scary thought. So, uh, with no electrical power to it, I don't see how it could work. So, uh, we got lucky on that one. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.